crazy with makeup on my shirt. My hair's clipped up crazy, but um, I have to get ready. My mom's birthday is today. She's having a party, so I figured why not have you guys get ready with me. I'm clearly not dressed, but my dress looks like this. It has some yellow in it, pink cheetah. It's really cute. So I decided to bust out an old palette that I haven't used in a while. It's the Urban Decay, L or Urban Decay. <laughs> It is the dupe for the Urban Decay Electric Palette. It is the Rue 21 Electric Eyes Palette. And I'll just open it up right there real quick. And as you guys can see, it is really, 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 really pretty much spot on for that palette. Um, and the colors are very bright and vibrant, so I figured let's do that today and probably throw on a vampy dark lip. So first things first, we're going to jump in. And get started. I'm going to do my face off camera and my hair and stuff like that, but at least I wanted to film the eyes because I wanted to use that palette. So I'm going in with our NYX eyeshadow base. And I hope you guys can see everything really good. I had to, of course, use lighting today because it is like rainy, gloomy, dark, sad, pathetic outside, you guys. So, anyways, we're just going to get that primer literally all over the lid. And I feel like for such a bright, colorful eye, you really can't go too wrong with that. And of course, we're going to have to cheat and use another palette as far as like setting the eye and the brow and all that stuff because this palette doesn't have anything that I can set my eye with. Also, you guys, I do apologize because I am a little bit under the weather and it really just is this weather in general. It just has me jacked up and sniffling and not cool at all. Okay, I grabbed this palette off the top, so we're going to go into the Morphe 350 palette, and I'm just going to use one of uh, these brown shades to just set my whole entire lid, mainly focused on the crease And then when you have that done, finally, I know it's crazy. I just put down a white base, but I'm going to go in with my next Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk and put that in the inner corner here. Just really pack that on. And then lightly take my finger and tap over top of it to kind of smooth it out a little bit. I am going to open up one of my Wet n Wild brushes. It's a small eyeshadow brush. And if you guys can't find these, I was on Snapchat yesterday and I said I was able to pick up a ton of them from the Dollar Store. So check there from the Dollar Tree. Anyways, we're going into our 12P palette because I need this bright, bright yellow because there is a little bit of yellow in the dress. And we're going to start packing that yellow on the inner corner of the eye. Yellow onto your desired look. You just want to repeat the steps for the other eye. These shadows are really, really pigmented, but sometimes yellow is really hard to get to show up, so that is why I used the white base that I used um, to make sure that it really, 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 really showed up. Okay, so now I'm just going to use another shader brush and I'm going to go into this electric palette and I'm going to use this orange. It's like an orangey red kind of shade. I'm going to get that on the brush and we are going to go right next to that yellow and kind of brush over top of it a little, just a bit. And we're only going to stay in the center with that because our last color is going to be um, the hot pink. 
you can do is take a fluffy brush with nothing on it and just kind of blend everything out and like marry the shades together. It's very repetitive. Okay, and then we're just going to kind of dust off that same brush and now we're going to go into the pink here. And take that right on the outer corner and into the crease as well. My finger and go right back into that orange like so and just tap it. So I just kept going back over top of it, back and forth, until I felt like I had my desired look. And so now we're going to add just a little bit of darkening in the very, very out of corner. So we're going to go into this really dark purple shade here. And I'm using a very, very small crease brush. And I am literally just working that on the very, very outer edge and creating a V-like shape. Okay, you guys, so let's just get right into the wing liner quickly here. Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to try out this Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. A lot of people rave about it and talk about it, so I actually want to try it because I heard it was bomb, and if it's so good, I'm going to take it on vacation with me. So we're going to use this today to create our wing. First run through, I'm pretty impressed with that. That's nice. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and throw on some false lashes and do my face. I'm going to throw my camera on the charger because lately I haven't been doing a good job of that. We'll come back with the waterline and the lip. See you guys soon. Okay, guys, we're back. So we have the face done. This is not a full get ready with me like I had planned for it to be. I just am running out of time. And it's just so dark and gloomy and disgusting. Sorry, my phone isn't on silent because like I said, um, it's my mom's birthday. So there's a lot going on. Anyways, I want to tell you what I did do to my eye while I was gone. I threw on Violet Voss I Do Not Care lashes. Let me so cute. Look at these lashes. Aren't they gorgeous? I love them. Perfect. I wanted some party wear. And then on my inner corners here, I threw on this really pretty shimmery purple. And as a highlight, yes, I highlighted with that silver, but I just think it looks so good. So we're going to move along quickly because i got to get going. Um, we're going to throw on ColourPop's Swerve in the waterline. So now I'm gonna go underneath the eye. You see I put this like burgundy blazer on. I think it's super cute. So I think for under the eye, I need a bur I need like a purpley burgundy. So I'm in my pinky rose palette and we're gonna use that one right there. Okay, so I had every intention to go with a really dark, vampy lip, but then the more I kept looking at it, I'm like, no, I've got to put on my Jeffree Star Scorpio. First off, it's party day, and I know that this is long-lasting, long-wearing, and it's going to work out for me. So I'm going to throw on ColourPop's Lip Liner in Marshmallow. And now for the lipstick. I love this shade, by the way. I feel like this is just perfect. Like, it is just, yes. And I think what I'm going to do is throw on a little bit of androgyny on top of that. I grabbed unicorn blood, and I'm just going to tap that lightly 
on the lips. So we created kind of like a light ombre effect, and I'm loving it. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this really awesome eye look and this pretty cool lip. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to follow me on all social media. Link down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to put a smile on your face. It is truly the best makeup you can wear. I love you guys so much. Bye.